today's class, we're kind of cutting the body in half like we do uh, many times. Today, legs, shoulders, and triceps. So this is a great workout. You can do it at home. And uh, you don't need any fancy equipment, man. We're going to use yeah. some basic household items today. So uh, if you haven't seen the videos before, my son-in-law Logan is here. He's going to go through the workout. And I'm just going to kind of give him a laundry list of exercises to do and try to keep form and technique in check uh, so you guys at home get the most out of your, your routine. All right? Um, it's broken out into two different sets, guys, and it's two sets of each of those circuits. So two circuits, two sets each. The first circuit, guys, is going to be core focused. All right? Great way to warm up and keep the centerpiece of the physique kind of in check. Things you'll want to gather for today's routine. All right? And guys, you can get through this workout with a couple gallon jugs and a chair. That's all you need. All right? Now, if your fitness level allows, if you've been doing this a little while, um, you may want up to seven gallon jugs, depending on what kind of accessories you're going to use here. Um, you may want a second chair. Um, guys, we have a body weight row option. Now, we will show an option with rows with just gallon jugs. Okay? If you choose to do the body weight, um, just a couple things really quickly. We always talk about this before we do them. Make sure, make sure that your chairs, guys, are, are, are pretty durable. Uh, I like to have a flat surface, guys, online. I mentioned this before. Guys, sometimes people use like folding chairs. Guys, I don't know how they keep the broomstick on top of it. it, it you need something flat or it's going to fall off, right? So we need something flat, guys, so I would recommend a flat chair. You could use stools and you go through the bottom also, okay? Um, stool will get you up a little bit higher. Um, so if you do the body weight option, make sure you have two chairs that are in good condition, or stools. And guys, we've got a broomstick off to the side, guys, a push broom that we took the broom off. And guys, it just, it works great, okay? The other thing we can do with this, guys, is we can slide gallon jugs on here. So we also have a tricep extension. Guys, it could be just a gallon jug in each hand laying on the floor. We're gonna slide gallon jugs through so we can use more weight, okay? Just kind of match Logan's fitness level a little bit more, all right? The other optional item is gonna be a backpack. And guys, we've got a backpack in the front. And for today's workout, um, I think we'll probably just use it just for like, like a goblet squat. Guys, this could be um, just body weight, so when we get there, we'll talk about that. But we're gonna do a low traveling, like almost like a pivot squat with a lateral motion, and, and Logan's gonna use this. Guys, I have a dumbbell in there. Listen, if you don't have any random dumbbells to put in there, you can use old weight plates, you can use paper books, multiple gallon jugs, water bottles, anything that has some weight in it, guys. And again, the idea is just to get that a little heavier than what a gallon jug or two in each hand would weigh. So you can challenge your fitness level, make your body work a little harder, all right? So guys, uh, that's the preliminaries. Let me throw up on the screen for you. You'll see our core circuit. It's just three exercises, and guys, it does a great job getting your core work along with some triceps in this crab pose, and then the, the, the plank leg lift will get kind of the glutes and the hamstrings fired up a little bit. The crab leg raise get your hamstrings too. You know, when you're holding that, you'll feel that. So guys, great little warm-up exercise to get you ready for our work sets coming up. So I'll get this out of the way. Logan, are you ready for this? Ready. All right, man. Guys, we do have an ab mat too. I didn't mention a mat, so if you have an ab mat, that might make these four exercises a little more comfortable. I'm gonna back out of the way here, guys. So our first exercise is a crab leg. So guys, basically, you're not getting to a tabletop, but you're kind of getting in sort of that position. So we're gonna press our body up so we have contact with the floor, with our feet, our hands. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna shift to three points of contact. So one leg will straighten out, could be either one, or to stay on this side the whole time, guys, we're gonna get about 15 to 20, and we're just gonna add a dynamic to that. We're gonna lift the leg up and come down slow, perfect. He goes, if you watch low and he comes down a bottom line through the leg and back up. This guy's so around 15 to 20. Hey, if this is something new to you, you haven't done it before, maybe 10's enough, but just try to challenge your body, all right? So while Logan does this, Logan is gonna feel his support, supporting hamstring, so I'm sure you probably feel it, and then the triceps, guys, you're holding your body up, you're holding your weight up with your hands, and your hamstrings. So again, great for today's workout. Legs, triceps, and you might get a little shoulder. You might get the shoulders a little bit too with that. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is kind of shake those arms. So we'll hit one side, and shake those arms for a second. And then we're gonna match reps with the, the other side. So he'll kind of get in that position again. And guys, it's almost just like, it's, like I said, it's almost like a tabletop, but the hips are low. So call it a crab pose. You're kind of in this crab, and now he's gonna drive up and down slow. 
Guys, mentally, um, I want you to think about your core while you're doing this. So as Logan lifts that leg up, he's not trying to just kick randomly and throw his leg around. He's trying to use the core to shorten, to tighten, to pull that leg up. So we're getting the core working, we're getting the tricep shoulders, and we're also with that support leg getting the hamstring. What a beautiful thing. Everything working together here, Logan. <clears throat> Hey, great job. Guys, your arms will be tired. Your legs might be tired. Your hip flexors, your hamstrings. So this next exercise we're going to do, guys, takes all the pressure off those areas, but you still are going to hit that core. So we're going to take either leg. We'll cross one over the other, guys. So Logan's going to take the right leg over left. Hands are behind the head. Do not pull the head. There's a tendency to pull the head. Two phases here, guys. So we're going to have Logan roll his shoulder blades up like a crunch. He's going to crunch up. And now he's going to twist the top, and then come slowly down to the mat. So it's a two-phase, up, over, down slow, contracting both times. So it's up and then really squeeze at the top. 15 to 20, each, each direction. Okay, Logan, here we go, buddy. So we're up. Hey, great job, guys. So I really like this, guys. Again, you're resting kind of everything that might have been overstressed slightly with our first exercise, but you're still just blitzing the core. Guys, this may look easy, but that pause and that twist, engaging those rotary muscles and the obliques, guys, it, you should feel the burn, all right? Um, and again, if, if, if you've been exercising regularly, you're probably getting 20 reps with this. Go slow and control. Make each rep count. If you just started, maybe 15 is going to be enough for you. Nice job, baby. We'll just match that again, coming the other way. Good. Guys, I apologize if you hear a dog in the background. That is our puppy who's not happy in the kennel right now. So I apologize. <clears throat> Great job, Logan. Great job, guys. If you see Logan's form, he's just rolling the shoulder blades up and then twisting. He's not pulling with his hands, okay? And you don't have to come all the way up. A lot of people, they automatically do this full sit. Don't need to do that, okay? Our third exercise in this kind of warm-up core movement, guys, is going to be a low plank. So in essence, it's kind of like you're going to get in a push-up position, but you're on your forms, not your hands, okay? Now, the big thing here, guys, is you don't want your lower back to, to, to bow, okay? So you want to keep that back real straight, okay? So when Logan gets this plank, we're going to make sure there's no sagging going off the lower back that compresses those vertebrae. We want to keep it nice and straight, even slightly, even slightly elevated, maybe just a hair. And then we're going to alternate, guys, pretty much coming straight up, lifting. We'll lift one leg, reset it, then we'll lift the other leg, okay? Again, range of motion, guys. We're not bending knee. We're not trying to come up high. We're not doing a leg curl. It's a straight drive up, okay? So Logan will kind of get in this plank. That looks really good. And there's no sag here. And we just come up just not, just a little bit just to tighten the glute. So we'll lift one leg up slightly, just straight. Good. And just, you okay? Yeah, just going to get even with the mat here. You bet, you bet. So we'll just drive up. That's it, Logan. Keep the leg super straight. That's it. And Logan, I turn my toe out too. So if you want to turn your toe out slightly as you come up, that really engages the, the, the glutes and the lower back. Guys, you'll feel the glutes quite a bit with this, okay? So if you want to think about that, as you look like just kind of squeeze the glute, come down. Squeeze the glute, and that'll also limit your range because you don't have to go very high to get that interaction. And that whole time, guys, we're kind of getting that posterior chain, glutes, hamstring. You're also engaging that core, keeping the body up off the floor. Nice job. Guys, somewhere in your area, 10 each leg, um, maybe up to 15. Nice job, nice job, Logan. Hey, good, that's plenty high, man. Don't worry about going high. That's perfect, man, perfect. Great job, great job. So guys, um, when you're done with that, we need to go through one more time, okay? So just a short break to kind of kind of catch your wind here because we're gonna shift around and we're back to those crab leg raises. How are we holding up, buddy? Okay? Yeah, doing good. 
Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, so if you watch Logan, he's up. We'll straighten the leg out. And again, we're gonna go under control and keeping it good. Keep the leg nice and straight. That's it, Logan. And guys, our focus, so Logan's focus is on the core. Okay, so that is really what we're trying to use to pull the leg up. Everything else you're gonna feel anyway. You're gonna feel those triceps tighten up. You're gonna feel, in this case, that right hamstring tighten up. So our mental focus is on the core with every repetition. Nice. Great job, great job. Okay, take a break, guys, and you may want to rub, you know, those triceps, if you're not used to holding yourself up like that, um, you can get a serious burn in those triceps from just that. So, you know, rub those out for just a second, shake them around, um, and then we're going to match reps, guys, on the, the other leg. That's it, man. Good. Squeezing that core every time. So those core muscles are pulling that leg up. Good. Shortening up. Nice. Awesome job. Awesome job. So guys, after that, it feels good to lay down. Just lay down, all right? And then we're gonna cross one leg over the other one. Catch your breath. Guys, remember this one is a two-phaser. You're a little more fatigued this time. Do not pull the head. So load and work up and over when, when you're ready. All right, guys, again, around 15 to 20 of these, okay? Nice. Great job, Logan. That's it. And as I mentioned, guys, it may not look like much with this range of motion, but guys, I promise you, if you roll the shoulder, we just get just slightly off the floor, pause, and then you twist, you will feel the, this L band, the, the upper abs, tying into those kind of those upper obliques um, from that rotation, and I promise you will feel those. Great job, buddy. Excellent work. So guys, get just a little bit of air, and we're gonna switch sides. Matching wraps going the other way here. <clears throat> nice work, Louis. exercise left and we'll kind of complete this whole um, ab core warm-up circuit so we have those low plank leg lifts next we'll alternate those legs remember don't get sloppy in your form guys don't don't start bending knees and kicking really high it's just slow controlled about 10 maybe up to 15 with each leg Good job, Logan. Keeping the, keeping the hips from sagging, keep that lower back sagging. Good. So, guys, we're avoiding any sagging that lower back. And if you're doing these guys and you start to feel that sag, try to drive those hips up a little bit. If you still have some back pain, guys, scratch this one off your list, all right? And we'll try to get that back strong in other ways to where you can get back into this and get a benefit. I don't want to, I don't want to cause any lower back pain or aggravate any existing conditions you might have with the lower back. Nice job, Logan. Great job. Excellent work. Guys, that is the, the, the floor work is done now, or at least for our core. Uh, we're going to move on now, guys. We have got two sets, guys, and we have got a, a list of exercises that really are going to challenge the legs, shoulders, and triceps as we go through this routine, all right? And I keep saying shoulders. It's actually back. 
I don't know why I'm saying shoulders, guys. So I have to, <laughs> to edit that a little bit. So sorry about that. So guys, we're gonna start, guys. Let me clean this man up a little bit. And we're gonna start with a lunge floor touch, okay? Um, guys, we've been doing this toe reach, which you could still do. We're gonna modify this just a little bit here today. So what we're gonna to try to do today is we're gonna to try to reach both hands towards the floor. If balance is an issue, guys, just, just do the one. The other hand can use the use a, a wall or doorway or even a chair. But what we're gonna to try to do is graduate to where you can reach with both hands. So guys, just like the one, we're gonna we're gonna come back into your lunge, float the leg, and then we're gonna reach down towards the floor and then back. So lunge, and then we're gonna reach for the floor. Okay, so a lunge floor touch. Guys, you don't have to already go all the way to the floor. Just kind of reach towards there and then come back. All right, so uh, we'll start with those. I know Logan might be recovering a little bit still. Um, <clears throat> so guys, a little hip, a little, little trick. The leg that goes back, that arm's gonna come forward. So if the right leg goes back, Logan, you're just gonna bring that right arm forward. And then we kind of come up, and then you're both hands towards. Yep, that's it. Excellent job, man. That's it. Great job. So, guys, you're going to get a benefit. You're working basically that whole lower body here. That reach is really getting that posterior chain. So, you're going to get a little bit of lower back and get your glutes quite a bit, and some hamstrings. Nice job. Good form, and guys, if you if you if you, if you watch Logan, he's doing his lunges. He's trying to make sure he's keeping about that 90 degrees. We don't want that knee drifting forward, and we want to keep it from drifting back as well. Great job doing that, Logan. And, and guys, listen, everyone's a little different, so you can be slightly forward uh, if you're not even. You want to make sure you have minimal stress on your joint. Okay, so typically that right angle minimizes the joint stress. Right. So look, we'll match those guys. We'll go with the other side here. <clears throat> Excellent job. How'd it feel? Okay? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's amazing how that little ratio gets that, like the, the posterior, you know, kind of yeah. gets that, that, that back side. Okay, guys, so we have got a low traveling squat okay so uh, weight is optional here you know we're gonna use a backpack with some weights to so have kettlebells you can use a goblet um, you can rack dumbbells up kind of you know what they call the rack position kind of up on your front of the shoulders the elbows in but what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna stay low as we travel so and we're gonna get 14 total squats here okay so we're about seven each way a little bit so we're gonna hold the weight up guys we're gonna take a kind of athletic stance so we're kind of wide probably just wide in the shoulders and we're gonna squat we're gonna come just a little bit, we're gonna stay low, and we're gonna laterally go and then squat. And then we're gonna stay low again, come back and squat. And guys, this will just really, it's only 14 reps, so low, you're gonna feel these, I think. Yeah, all right. So we've got a backpack, guys. Again, it could be just gallon jugs, okay? We just wanna do something, well, Logan wanna do something a little heavier. <laughs> so we've got a little weight in there, and guys, again, it's just kind of pivoting to one side and pivot back. But stay low as you travel, you're not coming all the way up, okay? So we'll get Logan kind of started over here. So Logan's gonna do a squat, and he'll cut just a hair, and it will kind of come over good. And Logan, I want you to stay kind of low. So when you when you come out of your all squat, right. stay low, and then we'll kind of shift over, and then squat, all right? Good, kind of stay low. Better, much better. And we'll work on that. There we go, that's it, that's it. Great job. Nice. Takes a little get used to staying low, guys, but it really keeps those muscles firing. And guys, listen, if, 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 if they get if they if they get really fatigued, you can always come up for just a moment. Um, if trying to get seven each direction it is, is too challenging. Nice job. Awesome job. Awesome job. Now, guys, we have a bodyweight row. 
which is going to work the back, but not the shoulders. Why I'm saying shoulders, I don't know. All right, so guys, what we're going to do here is I'm going to slide these two chairs, and we'll get them. Guys, you, when you set up the, the broomstick or your, your, your mop or whatever whatever type of stick you have, um, you don't want the chairs too wide, so I'm going to bring them in, and you want about where you're going to grab the, the broomstick. All right? So I've got these spaced out, which I think will be pretty good. Logan can fine-tune those. Just make sure, guys, there's nothing behind you because when you lay back, you don't want to hit you know, a table or another chair. So we're good there. Logan, I'll grab this. And guys, with these, um, if you haven't done these before, what we're going to do is we're going to, we'll kind of get our hand position set. And before you pull up, we're going to make it a little bit easier for you. We're going to get in a bridge position. So we're going to bring those hips off the ground, and then you're holding and you're going to pull up. And you can always graduate to where the heels are down or you're raising one leg up. But for most people, this is going to be plenty challenging. All right. So what we're going to do now is Logan's got his hand position. Feel pretty comfortable there, Logan? Yeah. Okay, good. So we're, we're going to go overhand grip with this, all right? And what Logan's going to do now is he's going to bring his hips up off the floor. So he's now he's like this bridge position. From here, he's going to pull himself up. And we're going to get in the area, of, I don't know, around 10, uh, maybe 15, guys. Uh, but these are very challenging. With our mind the muscle connection here, guys, we are thinking about driving the elbows toward the floor, okay? Kind of like you do with the pull-up. So we're just driving the elbows down, trying to really engage um, that back, those lats, all right? Nice job, Logan, great job. All right, our next one, guys, we're gonna use a chair again, okay? So I'll spin this chair around. And guys, if you have a chair, especially if your floors are hardwood or a little more slick, but this is carpet. The chairs have a tendency to want to slide when you're doing these, these push-ups, especially when you come in close. Um, so I anchor your chair. Go against the wall. Um, have something sturdy to hold that chair so it doesn't want to move on you while you're doing this. We're going to go relatively close on this, so almost like a, almost like those diamond push-ups, but we're going to do an incline version, and we're going to get about 10 to 15 reps. Right, guys, we're really trying to focus. This is going to really try to focus on those triceps as best we can. Okay. If you watch Logan, his his body is going to come slightly forward as he comes down, and his arms pretty much just just sweep past the body as he's doing this. Okay, so it's almost like the sternum almost coming in towards the hands, or even right below the sternum. So if you watch Logan do this, he's got good form on these. Excellent, excellent job. Nice, Logan. That's it, buddy. That's it. So remember our mind, the muscle connection here. We're thinking back to the arms because you can, you can hit the chest more if you think about the chest. But we're really trying to make those triceps do majority of the work right here. Nice job. Nice job. All right, Logan. The next one, guy. We have one arm rows on one leg. All right. Guys, you may want a wall or chair for this one also. So this is another one that requires just a just a little bit of balance. Okay. So um, what we're trying to do is work the back and the legs kind of simultaneously. All right. So um, you're going to I think we're going to use a couple gallon jugs, Logan. Okay. So you can grab your weight whatever it be dumbbell gallon jugs. We could use a backpack too. Okay. And you're just going to lean over here, guys float that leg up and we're going to have resistance here and we're going to pull up so while you're doing this guys i want you to think back okay so squeeze the back but you're going to work it's like a straight leg deadlift you're holding you're going to really feel those hamstrings and, and glutes again all right Yeah, I don't know if you want two in one hand or if you want to do one, I wasn't sure. Sometimes two are a little bulky, but we're going to see if we make this work. Okay, so Logan's got the jugs in his right hand, so his right leg is going to go up in the air. Okay, so basically he's going to work his left leg and his right upper body, his right back. Right? Right back. Great job. And if you watch his form, he's pulling the weight towards the hip. We're really trying to engage those lats 
doing a great job. And this will definitely test your balance a little bit. So he's, his left leg and his left foot, you can see it kind of manipulating itself to kind of keep him balanced on the one leg. Good job. Excellent job. Well, those are great. There we go. Good job, good job. So Logan fought to get 15. That's awesome. Got his balance going. So guys, uh, the next exercise, okay? We're going to shake out those legs for a minute. Guys, we have got squat jumps. All right. Guys, if Mr. <laughs> Logan say, oh boy. So uh, guys, we're, we're, I would recommend kind of an athletic stance again. So we're going to go kind of wide. Also, guys, I don't know what you have above you or how tall your ceilings are. We've got lower ceiling height, so I'm going to encourage you at home to drop your arms as you jump. Okay, so instead of reaching up and trying to jump with your hands going up as you jump, we're going to push down as you jump. Okay, and guys, man, we got 15 to 20 of those, Logan. All right. <clears throat> And the other thing, guys, before you start, soft landing, okay? So if you watch Logan, we're, 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 you don't want don't to land and be straight up and down where that just goes right through like your knees and your lower back. So when Logan lands, it's almost like you're like a little shock absorber up for the next one, right? All right, buddy. One, excellent. Awesome job, awesome job. All right, guys, we have two on the floor now, okay? We have a lying tricep extension. Guys, you can use dumbbells or gallon jugs for those. I think what we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna use a, a broomstick for Logan. So we're gonna stack up um, a couple of these gallon jugs on each side here for Logan. So guys, you can see this, this broomstick, it just slides right through the handles of these uh, gallon um, milk cartons that we fill with water. And we're just going to spread those out so you get a comfortable grip in the middle here. And uh, guys, just a couple tips on this if you're not through with this exercise. Um, one, kind of get the weight up there and then the arms will be angled slightly back. Okay, don't want them straight up and down. So you're not going to come up and over. So you keep that angle back a little bit. Um, two, think about the back of the arms. Okay, I keep saying that for this workout. Try to focus on what you're trying to target here. Okay, so we're trying to hit those triceps. So at the top, don't snap the joint. You're going to come up slow, squeeze those triceps and then back down so you're always in control of the weight. All right? <clears throat> nice job. So he's got those up, and now he's going to angle back just a little. Good, right about there. And now he'll just bring the weight toward the floor, drive up. Great job, guys. And if you can see his, from his shoulder to elbow, it's slightly angled back. It's not straight up and down. Okay, so we're back a little bit. And that's gonna put a little extra force on the on the triceps. Okay, nice job, Logan. So, one last exercise while we're here on the floor before we start this whole thing over again. We're going to do a Superman 
okay? And we're gonna do a two count hold on these, Logan. So we'll be about 15, 15 reps, I guess. And uh, we'll get this out of your way, Logan. Okay, so guys, with this Superman, this is another one of those exercises, guys, that doesn't require a huge range of motion, okay? In fact, if you try to go high or go ballistically, you can actually do more harm than good because your vertebrae are hyperextending, okay? So kind of like the planks we talked about, not sagging the back, hyperextending the back. Same thing here, although it will look like there's a slight hyperextension, we're gonna try to tighten the hamstrings and the erectors in your lower back. So what Logan's gonna do is he's going to lift his arms and legs just, just a few inches off the floor on each side. He's gonna press his hips into the floor, tightening the glutes and the lower back right here. Good, and he comes back down. So he's gonna come up, he's gonna go one, two, and then down slow. Guys, that was two reps for Logan. We've got 13 more to go, all right? So about 15 of those Logan. Hey, great job. If you watch Logan's form, guys, this is what you want. You wanna be slow and controlled, not going quickly, and not going too high, all right? Some people wanna go real high, they, they, they don't know any better, and they want to feel that real tightness, so they try to go high. Let's go slow. Nice job. It doesn't look like much, guys, but if you really engage those muscles and it pops to your chain, man, 15 two-comp holds can challenge, man, just about anybody. Okay, so we've made through one round of that. Guys, we have just one more to go. So the great thing about two sets is, on that second round, each exercise you get done, that one's off the table. We don't have to do it anymore, all right? So, um, you know, catch your breath for a minute. We don't want a long break. Get rehydrated. And we're going back to our lunge floor touch, okay? Or at least reaching towards our with both hands if you can. If you can't, guys, just, just kind of reach with the one if you need help with balance or stability against the wall with the other one, okay? How the legs hold up, okay? Yeah, okay, excellent, excellent. Sounds like Coco sell down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, here we go. I think Logan's up, so guys, Lunge, floor touch, getting around 10 or so on each side here. Good. Oops. I saw it, I knew you were getting close. I'm like, I don't know if he's going to hit it or not, but. There we go. Great job, Logan. Nice. And remember that good form, guys. If you watch Logan's from his ankle, knee to hip, when he does his lunge, and he's really maintaining or trying to maintain right at that 90 degree angle. Good job. Good job, Logan. Good. Well, way to fight for the form. Excellent work, man. Excellent job. All right. So that's how it's done there, guys. 
Uh, our next one is that that low traveling squat. Okay, so you want to stay relatively low as you transition. So you get it. It's we're going to deep in, and we're coming maybe halfway up from your squat. Travel over. So you're just staying low as you do that little side step. Okay, want to get around seven each way. All right. Are you okay? You good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get tired. Man, those legs do that to you, man. They just take so much, they suck oxygen right out of your system. Yeah. All right. Hey, remember guys, this could be holding a kettlebell and like a, like, a, like a goblet or dumbbells in a rack or gallon jugs in a rack position. In, in our case, we've got a little more weight and we're using a, we're using a backpack, all right, you know, as opposed to a couple gallon jugs. Excellent. Now we'll get underneath here, guys. We're kind of holding, almost like you hold like a like a kettlebell. All right, so like a goblet kind of position, and we'll squat down, and then we're just gonna come up just a little bit, just enough to get over, and then squat and get over. Good job, Logan. That's it. Good work, buddy. Good work. Excellent, man. Excellent. We're going to stay low. All right, nice job, Logan. Nice job. Hey, the legs hit a, a mini break here, all right? Let me just have a minute. All right, so guys, catch your breath for a minute. The next one is going to be either bent over rows, and again, you can use gallon jugs. Dumbbells, backpack, uh, or body weight row. So we'll set this body weight row in just a second for Logan. So we're really trying to hit those lats here, trying to hit those, hit, hit that back. Great job, guys. We're in the bridge, and then you're, you're going. Logan's doing a great job here. And we're just dropping those elbows down, trying to squeeze that back as we go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> nice job. Shake them out a little bit. We have got guys next. We're shifting gears to the triceps. So we're doing our close grip push up. And guys, if you go to the floor, you can. We're doing the incline version. We're using a chair or a bench and getting either of like 10 to 15 of those. triceps guys as you're doing this awesome job awesome job Logan. okay yeah get some get some air in guys breathe in your nose out your mouth Take some slow, deep breaths. That'll help the heart rate kind of come down a little bit quicker if you're if you're feeling the heart rate's a little elevated. 
Good, good. The next movement, guys, is the, we're going back to the one arm rows on one leg. So guys, a lot of muscles being worked here. Obviously those legs are a big muscle, the back's a big muscle, so, uh, and you're working on your balance, okay? <clears throat> If you need a wall or a doorway, guys, have something handy if you feel like you know you need a little assistance with your balance. Good. And you're just elevating the leg on your weighted side. So you get that leg kind of out of the way. Point towards the hip. Trying to isolate the lat. Good job, Logan. And lowest people's back nice and straight. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. That's it. That side's hard to balance on, guys. If you're right-handed, it's hard to balance on that right foot for most people. Because you're used to using your right foot to, to move stuff, to kick stuff, to push doors open. So you usually have better balance on your left. All right. Hey, that was great, Logan. Good job again. Yeah, shake those out for a minute. Take a couple breaths. The next one's tough. Those yeah. darn squat jumps. <clears throat> Okay guys, around 15 to 20, get what you can. Great job, Lloyd. Pushing hands down as you jump, good work. Have this ready. So guys, we, we, we finished the hardest stuff we're done now. So we've got a couple lying down. All right. So so catch your breath for this first second. We need a minute there after those squat jumps. I, I understand. And then we are going to we'll get this set up here in just a second. So we're gonna do our lying tricep extensions and then the Superman. Guys, we're going to angle back slightly, and we're trying to really just isolate those triceps tight in the top, come down slow under control, so you're always controlling that weight. Good, Logan. Good. Nice job.
excellent work, buddy. As you're down on the floor, stay there. Last exercise is coming up. We have got Superman. Oh, you're doing great, man. You're almost there. Knock on the door here. Guys, remember, limited range of motion here. We're going to about 15 two pounds. You don't have to go very high. Don't rush them. Good. Great job, Logan. Keeping those legs nice and straight. Just drive up. Excellent. Good. And guys, you're just pressing hips into the floor, okay? If you can remember that tip, that kind of helps just keeping those legs straight, press hips in the floor, hold it for a two count, and you're just coming just slightly off the ground on each side. Work, Logan. Nice job. Hey guys, once you get those supermen done, that's the workout. So that was our legs back. And triceps, kind of a nice variety of different movements just to try to target those specific muscles. So, Logan, thank you for working out, man. We appreciate it. Um, hey, guys, this is Elite Fitness. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, and we'll keep bringing wellness to you wherever you're at. Thanks again, guys.